Hi everyone, welcome to Countdown to New Year's. So this is the second day, but I, I, I wonder if you do it the other way around. Like yesterday should have been <gasps> Countdown to New Year's, day seven, and then today would be day six. Or do you still go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I don't know, but anyway, we're back to Countdown to New Year's, day two. I hope that stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Today we're on day two of Countdown to New Year's. And I'm not sure, was I supposed to start like day seven and then to go down a day or whatever, or if I just go day one, two, three, four, five, or whatever it is. You guys will know what I'm talking about, right? So yeah, we're on day two. So I've got another bottle of sparkling wine or champagne sparkling wine yeah which i suppose is like champagne right and i've got some more of my incredible edibles those little snacks to go with it the chocolate covered strawberries and uh, pineapple and apple and there was also grapes in there so i took out some grapes to have tonight i'm going to do my boxy lux tonight yeah think we can do this in record time we're going to give it a try but you know i thought i would do something different today so you know how for Vlogmas I wore my ugly Christmas outfits? Well, I ran out of outfits, so I didn't know what I was supposed to wear next. So I'm kind of like transitioning into getting back into normal clothes. But I thought, you know, you know, it's like New Year's. So maybe I should dress up a little and just kind of wear some, some outfits and, you know, dresses and things and kind of look festive, right? So that's what I'm doing today. So I've got my, of course, my Swarovski crystal on, my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski jewelry on. I even put on some arm candy today and I have this peplum type blazer. It's really stretchy. It's got like this double lapel, which makes it good. And it kind of makes it look like you've got a waistline here. And then I've got this body contrast, but if you wear it with a blazer and nobody can see all the bumps and ribbles and everything else, right? Yeah. So it's black and it's got this red and pink and greens in it. So I got this ruching down the side, which kind of brings you in. Peplum jacket, you probably can't see, but it's a little bit lower in the back. And I'm ready to go to work. Put the fashionista on. I'm ready to go to a party. Alrighty. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to try to do for the next few days is kind of put some clothes on. Other than my pajama bottoms. I didn't put nylons on, but full disclosure, I do have my muck lock socks on. Alrighty, so let's get into this boxy lux. So I'll have the information below and I know they changed I think they changed the prices, but I think it cost um I get this every quarter. I have the boxy charm base, which now is I think it's twenty-eight dollars, could still be twenty-five between Ipsy and Boxy Charm. I'm all confused. That's the hashtag. Nancy has no idea. So for every quarter I think I pay fifty-five dollars. You're supposed to get more product, more value. Sometimes it's been really good. Sometimes it just leaves me wondering because I don't know what to do with this stuff. All right. So, and then another thing that really perplexes, perplexes me, and I took everything out of the box already. I have no idea why they put a crinkled up piece of paper in here. It just looks cheap. And then they give you this card that used to always come nice, but now it's always bent and folded and it's a mess. But it's winter lux, and I suppose it's really what's in the box that matters, right? And it gives you a list of the products that are in there, their value, and off to the side would be what my variation is. So we've got the Charlie 21 for 2021, 12 for December. So my configuration is 450 LX. So I'm not sure if we have any twins out there, but it is a pretty card. Very festive looking. 
for the winter lux and like i said there's going to be some things in here that are going to confuse the crap out of me yeah i just don't understand things these have just changed so much from just washing your face with ivory soap and ponds and noxema yeah so many things have changed all right but this one's an easy one so this is a, another sleep mask like i said they they're just getting they were popular for a while and then they die down and now they're like all coming back in the boxes again so i got another one of these it's upside down the satin sleep set so we've got this mask here to wear over your eyes there's a little scrunchie in there that goes with it and then a satin pillowcase to supposedly it's supposed to help keep your hair nice and not make it brittle and maybe not give you wrinkles on your face so yeah so yeah i don't know what the value of this is but i'll go over it in a few minutes i a brush set from larice and i had a heck of a time opening it, opening it as they say in minnesota heck of a time so i pre-opened it so i wouldn't make such a funny faces and the brushes are really pretty they've got like this kind of grippy type handle right here so it's kind of ridge so it's just easy to handle i think it probably tells me what each brush is for with the pretty gray and then gray and white so it looks like we have some face and some eye brushes on here and then a little case that you can put on your vanity or travel with to keep them nice and clean i got another mask i haven't even had anything to drink yet yeah slippery little things so this is by aceology or aceology it's a detoxifying max and i did use a charcoal max mask today already so but interested to use that got a thing of mascara it's it says magnetic technology what the heck is magnetic technology in in mascara i'm yeah this, this is just so confusing so it's fully charged pure magnetic technology mascara can somebody explain that to me i'm all confused Alrighty, so this is a real pretty container it's a nice frosted glass container it's a vitamin c intensive face cream by cat berkey i don't know if this is sealed or not so it's just a nice creamy texture in here take some off this just put some on my hand to see what it's like so and it's so rich and creamy so since it's not a serum do i still use do i put this on and then i still need a moisturizer or do i still need serum and then put this on or do i use serum this and then still put a moisturizer on you can see how i am so confused Alrighty, i thought i had i do so i got an eyeliner in here and i'm probably going to hold it backwards this was in a plastic bag which is kind of weird i have no idea why it always goes crooked but persona black the color of the cap here so you can always use more eyeliner and this is like another thing that's i'm so confused hashtag nancy and alicia have no idea so this is by jeffree star and it's a spray right go off so it's a mist that you spray on your face to dissolve your makeup then it tells you to use one of those disposable wipes to wipe it off and then to wash your face like you normally would this just has me baffled and then it says all this has all these nice ingredients but if you're wiping it off and then washing it off with your regular cleanser aren't you washing off all the helpful ingredients that are in here yeah so is that like triple washing your face every night I don't know you guys tell me is this new age stuff it's it's beyond me this next thing is by Ofra Ofra it's on the glow palette oh my god this is beautiful and this has like a hundred and forty five dollar value or something like that so so pretty I took it out of the cover 
but so I don't know if this is just bronzers and contours and highlighters or if one of these is like a blush I pick up the cover that I didn't think I was going to need but look how beautiful this is but the highlighters are really really gold the bronzer looks really really dark but oh my gosh it's beautiful and 145 dollars I know crazy right so I think me, I dropped my paper. I think I'm going to add this real quick and then I'll tell you what the value is. Yeah, it's crazy. Alrighty, so just some quick values here. So this Ofra palette, as beautiful as it is, don't know if I'll even use it. It's $149. I know, crazy, right? The slap Satin Sleep Set here by Kitsch is a value of $36. It's really nice. Not sure if I'm going to use it or not. Um, the Cat Berkey, the Vitamin C Intensive Care. This is $116. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, makeup is crazy. Skincare is crazier. This Aceology, the Detoxifying Treatment Mask. This is $69. The LaRousse Beauty, this Christine set. This is a good value of $50 for those brushes. Fully charged mascara powered by magnetic technology. This is $22. The um, waterproof, this is a waterproof eyeliner, 24 hour by Persona Makeup. This has a value of $14. And oh, it's not Jeffree Star, it's Patrick Star, sorry. So this Patrick Star, this has got a value of $24 and I'm so confused. I just don't know what, what to say about putting on a spray, wiping it off with a disposable wipe, and then washing your face normally. Okay. Somebody explain it to me, please. So, yeah, because I'm, I'm old school. Yeah, this is this is weird. So, everything in my box was $480. I mean, there are some high-ticket items in here. I'm knocking everything over. Let me put this on the floor before I get to the champagne. So, I mean, for me, the things that I'm going to keep in here that I know I'm going to use, I know I got my values, my value out of it. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, can a magnetic mascara, does that hurt your eyes like 20 years from now? Well, maybe I won't be here in 20 years, but 20 years from now, are they going to say, oh, you damaged your eyes because you use mag magnetic mascara? Or is it just a catchphrase and there's nothing magnet about it? I know. I know. Just crazy. So anyway. Not having enough champagne flu tonight. I'm using another one of my little Lolita glasses. It's got a little rose here. I thought it kind of went with what I was wearing today. And I've got my tray here. Snacks from my, I think it's called Incredible Edibles. Looking good. And of course I had my handy dandy thing over here yesterday to help me. And it was a twist off cap. So this is what I have today. It's La Brava root and sparkling wine vegano I guess that means maybe that's vegan in Italian I don't know all right all right so it's another one of those kind of funky little screw off caps all right so it's not going to be able to see all the effervescence and the bubbles but I'll know they're there. So anyway, whether this is day six or day two, I want to thank you guys for stopping in and spending countdown to New Year's with me. And cheers, everyone. I hope you go out. Enjoy the rest of the week. If you are off this week, I hope you have so much fun. We're going to have some snow. I mean, I don't understand that either. We've got all kinds of broadcasts going off and alerts going off on my phone. And... We're supposed to get like 0 0.0.16 inches. And why do I need an alert for that? <sighs> Cheers, everyone. Happy New Year, by the way, in case I don't get to see you again before you, uh, in case you're, you're busy and, you know, I'm here and no one else is here. Happy New Year, everyone. I love champagne. 
talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye.